Hello everyone. Have it ever happened to you that you have an idea, you want to generate an image based on that idea, but you don't know how to phrase that idea. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can take an idea and use AI GPT to generate a text prompt for you. If you go inside of Config UI, you click on the Config UI manager and you click on install custom node. If you search for GPT, you will see that there are a few options, but most of them, they will require you to add an open AI key or it will take a GPT model, which can be quite taxing on your system. Instead, I will show you a different Comfy UI node. It's called Comfy UI HF. So in your Comfy UI manager, search for HF at the top and then you will get the option. If you do not see the option, make sure that you have Comfy UI updated and that the filter is showing as all. You can also go to this link to see the repository and it tells us that this is a Comfy UI node to work with Hugging Face repositories. So the good thing about this particular repository is that you can take any text generation model from Hugging Face, add it to the node, it will automatically download that particular model and use it. Now there are a few models which have been tested and it's listed here. Once you have the custom node installed, you can use it on any workflow. In this particular case, I have an example here and there's a lot of things going around. These green nodes, they are the positive prompt and then the red nodes, these ones, they are the negative prompt. The GPT-2 node that you will install will replace the positive prompt. So if I zoom in here, you can see that I have the positive prompt, I had negative prompt, and the only change that we'll need to do is to remove the positive prompt, double click on an empty canvas and type in GPT. You will get the option GPT-2 text generator. Select that and then take the clip and connect the clip to the node. The conditioning will go into the positive prompt. Now, if you want to, it also gives you an option to view the prompt. So you can take the string prompt and go into a show text node if you want to. Using the node is quite simple. This field here is to write your positive prompt. This is where we are going to add the model. And right now we already have a default model selected. This is the temperature. And if we look at it from an overview, it's basically replacing the positive. Now for those of you who would like to right click and select it from the menu, then you will need to go into right click, click on add node conditioning, and you will find the text to text generator in the conditioning section. So if I were to take a basic workflow where I have the low checkpoint, persistent negative, empty, latent image, case sampler, VAD code, and save image. In the positive prompt, I will type out my text, in this case, beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle, landscape, basically the default one. And this is the output. By simply replacing the positive prompt, adding the same text with the same seed, I have a slightly better image. It gives more character to the image. Here's a workflow that I'm using to compare the default text with the GPT-2 text generator text. I'm starting with a low checkpoint. I'm going into the basic clip text encode prompt, which goes into a case sampler VAD code, and then I get a default image. And if I go to the bottom, I have my GPT-2 text generator. This conditioning goes into the second case sampler, the bottom one, and this one gets decoded and it's being outputted in this GPT-2 preview node. So here's a few example I've done. In my text prompt, I already have a good prompt, which is vibrant city light the skyline, and then you can see the rest. I'm keeping the case sampler settings, of both case samplers the same, and these are the results. So the default one is from the basic clip text encode, and then the GPT-2 one is from the Comfy UI dash HF custom node. And you can see that we get a slightly better result simply because it's adding more to the text. However, the first one is also pretty good because the text I'm using is already pretty good. Here are a few 
results. I will have a link where I'm going to share the workflows and the images in the description below. So in this case, you can see that there's very few differences between the two images. And here's another one, which is a little bit abstract or galaxy universe one, one about nature. And this one, I decided to use a simple prop. So you can see here, my positive prop is boat ocean wave. The default workflow, it has the boat, it has the ocean, and it also has the wave. But in the second one, the GPT-2 one, we can see that it has all the elements, but a little bit extra. We can see a little bit more character, sort of a cinematic style image. However, it is important to know that this node isn't going to give you perfect result every single time. What it's doing is it's taking the text that you have and depending on the model that we have at the bottom, in this particular case, I'm using the default model, Magic Prompt Stable Diffusion. This one, it takes the policy prompt and it will add additional tokens at the end. But because of those additional tokens, it may be that you do not get what you wanted in the first place. So in this case, I wanted a loose up portrait of eyes. In the default one, we actually get the eyes as the main focus, also the face. But in the second one, we got a woman as the main focus. And this becomes more apparent if we have a very simple prompt. So in this case, I have eyes as the prompt and we can see that the default one gives you the eyes, also the face. The other one, we also have the eyes in there, but the main focus is mainly the character. And if we were to modify the prompt slightly, where we see super close portrait of eyes, we can see that the default one respect this because that is all the tokens that it will get. But the GPT-2 one gets extra token added by this GPT-2 text generator and it gives us this type of result. So of course, the image is really good. However, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so after doing a couple more generation, I was able to get the default one to show me highs. This time, I will show you how you can take this image and pass it over to the GPT-2 text generator. So I have my GPT-2 text generator here. I've added a shoe text image just so that we can see what is happening. And you can see that it shows us that we have the text here, lose a portrait of intricate eyes. This is my positive prompt, but then it adds detail face, fantasy art, goblin art, and so on, which ultimately created this GPT-2 second image instead of the first one where we actually get the close up portrait of eyes. So I'm taking this image and passing it through a control net section. In this case, I have the depth anything model. And we can see in the preview here, then I am taking the text generator conditioning. I'm sending this conditioning over to the apply control net and then passing it over to a K sample VAD code. Now, in this case, you can see that we have similar eyes as the default one, but it's applying the effect from the GPT-2 to the image. And here's another example where my positive prompt is tree and the default workflow gives me a tree. There's no artistic style in the image, it's just a tree. In the second one, I do have a tree with a little bit of style. In this case, the prompt, it generated the same thing, tree as trending on art station. And we got a slightly different image. In this particular case, I want to take this tree and I want to place it in a different environment. But I want that environment to be generated by the GPT-2 text generator. So I'm adding my GPT-2 text generator here. The text I'm passing over to the text generator is mass space, which pass over to the generator. And this is what it's outputting. So in this case, we are getting quite a bit. Then I am taking the conditioning from the tree. So this text generator is for the tree. And I have just created a rewrite here so that I can use it. I'm passing the conditioning over to a conditioning concat above the tree, the tree from here, and then the mass space. The output of the conditioning concat is going to a K sampler. And this is the output. So the name is a little bit deceptive here. It's from the previous example, but the default one is default. Then we have the only the tree as a GPT to text generator. And then the third one is from combining the two different node. 
Now, of course, we can see that we do not have any tree in this particular example. And that is because this text has more influence over this text. You can see that the conditioning concat will just take the first part, it will take this part, and it will plus this one. And the result is what we got. So this one has more weight in the overall composition. So what we can do is we can replace the conditioning concat with a conditioning average. And again, the same thing, we are going to take the conditioning from the first X generator, which is three, goes into the conditioning average. And then we have the mass one, again, goes into the conditioning average, the output into a K sampler. And now we have a tree. Now in this case, the conditioning two is strength is one, which means this bottom section is at zero and it's not influencing the image. Similarly, if we change the strength to zero, it means that the tree has now a strength of zero, and then the bottom one has a strength of one, and we get something related to mouse. If we set it to 50%, this means that the tree will have 50%, and then the mouse will have 50% influence. We go over to see the output, we can see that now we have the tree, and we also have the mouse effect, the atmosphere there. Now in this particular case, because of the different text, I found that going for a strength of 0.65 gives the tree pretty much similar. You can see this tree is similar to this one, but we also have that mass space, outer space atmosphere there. So if you want to change this model, go into the GitHub repository under the model section, click on a particular link. In this case, I'm clicking on from gen Lex art one this will open the hugging base ripple story at the top where it says the ripple story you will have a copy button click on this button copy it to your clipboard and then where it says model ripple double click on that space and replace it with the one that you've copied when you click on generate you will see in your terminal that it will download the new model at the time of making this video one of the model is not online but if you're trying to download this model you may get this error where it says that the repository was not found in that case just skip this one and use a different model so finally i would like to share this massive workflow i made it's basically the same thing where we have the default tip text encode at the top this is the default we have a text generator here and the output is here and then i'm just copied and pasted the gpt2 text generator section multiple times and i change the model name for each one so at the top we can see it's the magic pump stable diffusion one which gives this kind of result and by the way the text was old aqueduct the default one got this really well it is an aqueduct but this one it added quite a few unnecessary text to my text which gave this result and then i've used this new one the up extend one which gave me a not safe for work image be careful these models can add not safe for work text into your prompt as an example again i am using old aqueduct but if i go down you can see i had to censor some of the images the prompt test gave me quite a revealing outfit for the woman and it has nothing to do with old aqueduct now similarly there is one model called Imaginite unsafe and this one it just adds not safe for work text into the prompt and then the output i have to censor everything it also provides a safe version but i found that the safe version is also giving some not safe for work images okay so i'm going to share these images and workflows in the description below i hope this video was helpful in trying to get you some creative ideas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.